Hey, it's Dave Franicki here. I'm with Capstone Capital USA. I'm the founding member and the fund manager. Today, we're gonna to talk about LTV and ITV. Why does it matter when you're buying a note? Listen in, I think you'll really, really enjoy it. Talk soon. Okay, so why, have you ever heard, of, I don't know if you've ever heard the term LTV or ITV. LTV is loan to value. ITV is investment to value. Investment value is what you buy a note for as compared to what the value of the property is. Loan to value or LTV means the amount of the loan as compared to the value of the property divided by. So both indicate a security of your investment. If you're a note buyer, you want to want to protect your backside with both of these. Investment to value is probably the most important. Loan to value will is actually a, a way telling if that particular note payer is going to stay because if they got some good equity they're not going to want to walk away so there's nobody else backing your investment it's just the asset or backing your loan it's just the property so you've got to have that spread so you're going to want to be profitable and you're going to want, going to, want to have a safe and a smart investment so let's take a look at this so risk versus yield risk investment to value versus yield. So it's all about liquidity. How much is on the backside? The number one factor is liquidity. What is it? What's that all about? If you have a very, very low ITV, and I like below 60%, other people have a higher threshold, pain threshold, they might go to 70. Go beyond that, as the economic times take a turn, you're gonna get hit hard. But, and typically, I've been, when I sell my notes, whatever I might have, whether it be full or partial, I'm getting them down to 30, 40% when I'm buying, again, never more than 60. So what is LTV, loan to value? It's an indicator of potential consistency. It's shown as a percentage. LTV tells how likely it is that the payer will continue to pay. To calculate LTV or loan to value is the payer's loans, the loan amount, divided by the house value. And whatever that percentage is, hopefully less than 70%, you're good to go. It also involves any other loans on the property, like a second or things like that, any other debt structure, is to lock that payer in so they don't want to walk away from that note and when they got the equity. So that protects you in the long run. So let's look at an example. We kind of touched upon this before. Let's say a property's worth a hundred grand and the payer has loans totaling 65 grand. So 65,000 divided by a hundred thousand works out to 35% equity. That's not bad. The lower the percentage, the better. So it, it means that the payer has more to lose. What's ITV? Again, quick reference. ITV in note investing stands for investment to value, also percentage. How much you're buying the note for, divided by the how much the house is worth, that gives you a number. So. My safe number, what I like is less than 65%, but I really trend to 60%. Other people do have difference. It all depends upon your, th your threshold for pain. Mine is less, and that's what I feel comfortable with. And when I sell notes to other investors, I use that, if nothing else, as a marketing tool to say, look, this is good stuff, and here's why. Okay, so let's look at the next phase of this as you break down the asset classes. Look at land. What's safe there? Land is like a roller coaster. As the market changes and gets soft, when it gets soft, values drop. Land is very speculative. I'm a investment buyer. I'm not a speculative buyer. So typically when I'm looking at land, I'm not, my investment in value is not going to be any more than 50%, not any higher. You've got to have that spread in there to protect yourself. If you look at mobile homes, the same thing. Now, if they're fixed to the property, that's good. If the mobile home was built in the 70s or 80s, yeah, I don't know how much value you're gonna to wanna to give that. If it's in a park, you gotta look at that too. But the, the safe factor for capstone capital, I'm not gonna pay any more than 50 to 60% investment to value. So if the home and the land is worth 100, I'm not going to pay any more than 55 to 60. And that's assuming that the interest rate is up there. It's, it's all, these things all interact together. Let's go on to the next one. Jumbo loans, you know, 400,000, 500,000, whatever that might be. 
high-end homes, high days on market, they're equal, it equates. So you take back a house and it's over $700,000, your days on market's gonna be up there. Safety factor, it's a smudge factor, anywhere from 60 to 75%, but that's a, considered a safe margin of error. Commercial, same thing, it's all a function of the rents. If it's a one tenant building, a 10 tenant building, if it's a destination stop or not, whatever that might be, it takes longer to rent those up. So you gotta, and then when you get a new tenant, you're gonna have to fix it up, the fit up. So with that, you gotta compensate for having some room for error. Typical range for that is in the 50 to 70% range, investment to value. And lastly, single family residences. My safety net is anywhere from 60 to 65%. I've run past a lot of my note investing, investing friends. They said exactly the same thing, don't want to go there. You look back to the recession in 08, 09, my gosh, here in Phoenix, property values dropped 50%. So if you were at 80 or 90%, you're in trouble. The hard money lenders, they were loaning at 90% investment to value. They all went away. I choose not to go there. Again, it's all your own individual risk tolerance. Just This just happens to be Dave Franicky and Capstone Capital. So, there's, a, there's mitigating factors in all these. It's just a function of, of where you want to go and what you want to do. Uh, it's, you have to look at the whole composite, the whole picture of all the due diligence items. One may outweigh the other. You may like the asset a lot. It's going to be easy to get rid of. I don't know. It all depends upon where you might be or where you want to go. Again, as I've mentioned in other videos, this is really a, a great book. It's functional. It, teaches you, it can teach you a lot. There's no horse handbook. How to profit from and correctly manage your real estate note. It's good. 30 pages of really good information, 40 pages of glossary. Uh, also, if you go to the Capstone site, you'll see our note vault. We have notes there that we are marketing either full or partials. So thank you. Hope you've enjoyed and see you on the next video. Hey, Dave here again. And we just went over investment to value, loan to value, yield, return on your investment. So the whole scenario in this is you hope for the best and plan for the worst. So success comes to those who, are, who want to work for it. So set yourself up for success and always have a backup plan. And should things go wrong and the payer defaults, you're covered. So the best way to do that is to keep your investment to value at a level that you feel comfortable with. And if you're new to note investing and you want to learn more, email me, call me, whatever. We can discuss some options to grow your business. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you.